Australians have a soft spot for compact SUVs, and as our contenders for this year's Best City SUV show, there are plenty of choices. A two-time champion, the Suzuki Vitara faced a bigger field and tougher challenges in 2017, up against Subaru's second-generation XV, Toyota's CHR and Hyundai's new Kona. Pricing was extremely competitive in this mid-range segment, with only $1,000 separating the cheapest baby SUV from the dearest. Starting from $28,500, the Kona Elite is the least expensive of the four and the newest arrival in this booming segment. And while the Kona's design divided the judges, they all commended Hyundai's efforts of breaking away from its usual conservative styling. The Hyundai Kona really brings the funk, both inside and out. It's a very interesting place to be and it has plenty of toys to play with as well. The judges were impressed by the cabin layout, comparing it to an i30, and liked how the bright coloured seat belts and air vents match the exterior colour. The Kona also received ticks for technology and connectivity with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and advanced safety gear, such as autonomous emergency braking, forward collision warning, lane keeping and blind spot monitoring. However, the Kona was also the least practical of the four, with the smallest back seat. The 2-litre engine with 110 kilowatts and 180 newton metres was rated as being the least refined and most underwhelming when pushed on the open road. The steering was vague, with engine and tyre noise also a factor, but the 6-speed auto was well calibrated. Overall, the judges found the Kona to be competent, but it didn't excel in any areas. The CHR two-wheel drive is priced from $28,990, matching that of defending champion the Vitara S Turbo. All the judges agreed the CHR was the most eye-catching of the group, and like the Kona, the judges commended Toyota's move away from its traditional conservatism. The Toyota CHR illustrates perfectly where city SUVs are going these days. It's almost more of a fashion accessory than it is a car. The judges noted the CHR's sloping design hindered over-the-shoulder blind spot visibility, but it received big ticks for its modern safety equipment, including AEB, active cruise control and lane keeping. The judges also liked the interior and use of high quality materials, but found the cabin design to be impractical, especially for children in the back. The absence of smartphone connectivity such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and the small infotainment screen also worked against the CHR. The 1.2 litre four-cylinder turbo petrol unit produces a lowly 85 kilowatts of power and 185 newton metres of torque. And though the ride was composed, the judges felt the engine needed more power, especially on the open road. The judges found the CHR handled responsively during track testing, however braking didn't fare as well, nor did its aggressive ABS. Of the quartet, only one proved to be the most capable off-road, and that was the Subaru's all-wheel drive XV. The 2.0 IL is the most expensive of the four from $30,340, but judges found the XV provided the best visibility and comfort. The XV brings a level of sophistication and space to the baby SUV segment. The cabin was the most comfortable and premium looking with the latest in tech including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a bigger 8 inch touchscreen. It had the most room at the back, however boot space was the smallest. The XV also scored highly on its expanded EyeSight safety suite which also comes standard. This includes a new lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, pre-collision AEB, even reverse automatic braking. During testing, judges found it to be the most refined of the four and the quietest. But the Subaru's 2-litre four-cylinder petrol engine with 115 kilowatts and 196 newton metres felt underpowered and lacking punch. Of the contenders, the XB posed as the biggest threat to the Vitara's title defence, with the winner decided by just a single vote. Despite the new competition, it's the Suzuki Vitara that wins again. So the Vitara S Turbo two-wheel drive remains the standout. The 1.4-litre direct-injection turbo engine with 103 kilowatts and 220 newton metres, combined with the Vitara's lightweight, was the punchiest and most fuel-efficient at 5.9 litres per 100k. The judges described the Vitara's engine as one of the best in its segment, with excellent driving dynamics, along with good handling, steering and agility. They also praised its smooth six-speed auto for further enhancing driving experience. But while the Vitara did a good job in the corners, the judges still didn't like the ABS system during the dynamic testing. Another area where the Vitara lost points was the absence of advanced driver aids, which was disappointing given the XV, CHR and Kona were all well equipped. 
The Vitara does have a long list of standard features including Apple CarPlay, satellite navigation, reverse camera, front and rear sensors and keyless entry. While some plastics made the interior look a little cheaper than its rivals, the leather-trimmed seats did boost the cabin's appearance. The Vitara also had good rear legroom, the best headroom and one of the biggest boots. The higher riding position also provided great visibility. In the end, the Vitara's engine and road manners sealed drives title trifecta, but it also proved as the best value for money.